dear student welcome back to my channel nb biology tutorial i am professor namrata burate we are going to continue the next part of the modern synthetic theory of evolution that's the second one is a natural selection in the last video we already seen that the genetic variations which is a first part of the modern synthetic theory in this video we continue the next part that's the second concepts of modern synthetic theory that's a natural selection so let's continue our point the natural selection according to darwin natural selection is a main driving force behind the evolution this hold that genetic variation rise within the population the fittest will be at the selective advantage and will be more likely to produce the offspring than the rest as the fit continue to enjoy the greater survival and the reproductivity new species will be eventually evolved natural selection is a process by which the better adapted organism grow and produce more number of offspring in the population it's bring about the evolutionary changes by favoring the differential reproduction by gene that brings about the changes in gene frequency from one generation to the next generation the selection against a harmful mutation leads to a mutation balance in which the allele frequency of harmful recessive remain constant and the gener generation after generation the natural means what the harmful recessive gene its remain constant there is a transfer of only the useful generation useful genes from one generation to the next generation but the harmful recessive gene it remain constant this is a most important phenomena in case of the natural selection natural selection encourage those gene or the traits traits means what that's a characteristic that achieves the highest degree of adaptive efficiency between the population and the environment the best example which is given by the natural selection is the industrial melanism so what's that industrial melanism the industrial melanism in the great britain before the industrialization there is a presence of the white paper moth that is known as the biston betularia where the more in number this white paper moth it's a more in number but the black wing black winged biston carbonaria this black color moth it's a less in number the this moth all these moths are the nocturnal means they are active during the night time and during the day time it is rested on the tree trunk the white wing moth it can be easily hide because on the surface of the tree trunk there is a development of lichen because here in this re in the area in great britain there is a no pollution no industrialization so this area it it should be the pollution free area means what there is the development of lichen on the surface of the tree trunk so this is a very important point point in case of this industrial melanism this wing white wing moth can hide in the background well with lichen cover the tree that helps them to escape from the predator birds on the other hand this black wing moth you can see here this black wing moth it is easily see on the surface of the tree trunk which is covered by the lichen so the predator birds can be easily seen this black color moth so the number of this black wing moth that is piston carbonaria it is goes on decreasing that is its number its reduce but after the industrial revolution after industrial revolution the large amount of the smoky sooty smoke which is come out from the industry result is what the area that the great britain it become the polluted means what there is a no development of the so there is a no development of lichen on the surface of the tree trunk result is what result is what the white color paper white color moth that is biston betularia it is easily seen by the predator 
but the beastin carbonaria that is a black color wing black moth it is uh, not seen by the predator in that condition what happen that's a uh, advantages is what the black wing moth it is increasing in number but the white moth that is beastin bicularia it's a decreasing number thus the natural selection has resulted in the establishment of the phenotypic traits in changing the environmental condition hope so you understood it thanks for watching my video stay tuned to my channel thank you